Welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin's most recent upgrade to its network, Taproot. I've got a couple of articles pulled up here so that we can get an idea of what this upgrade is, what it's supposed to do, and whether or not this could potentially affect the price of Bitcoin. Before we jump into this, I would like to just point out the fact that Bitcoin has been catching some slight resistance here, guys. Um, if you look over at our, our chart here for Bitcoin, you can see that we are catching some slight resistance here right at about 65,000, 64.9K, guys. This chart has played out pretty nicely. You can see this measured move down here was pretty much fulfilled. We did drop a little bit lower than that, but you can see on the hourly here, our candle closes were right there at my measured move on that drop to the downside. And as we've rebounded back to the upside here, you can see we are catching resistance right here on our previous resistance that did knock us down to the downside. So I just want to point this out before we jump into this news regarding Bitcoin's upgrade. We are catching some resistance here at around 64.9. So in my opinion, guys, Bitcoin needs to get above $65,000 in order to continue its rise up. Otherwise, we continue to see resistance here. We could see a short term pullback before continuing back to the upside. Now, like I said, guys, I do have a few articles pulled up here, so you're not going to want to go anywhere because you want to hear about this information regarding Bitcoin's upgrade taproot. So this article over here at BitcoinMagazine.com should do justice in helping us understand Taproot in a simple way. And before we jump into that article, I would like to point out that uh, the crypto exchange Kraken has said that Taproot is arguably the most significant upgrade to date, setting the stage for massive innovation and adoption, describing Taproot as an upgrade for the ages. So let's see if we can understand what Taproot is and what it means to Bitcoin and whether or not this will affect the price in a positive, a negative way, or not affect the price at all. So understanding Taproot in a simple way. First of all, what does Taproot do? Taproot is the combination of many Bitcoin improvement proposals, or BIPs, resulting in a soft fork of Bitcoin's blockchain. A soft fork is a proposed upgrade that over time is adopted as the only blockchain, meaning the old one will cease to operate once the new one, in this case Taproot, is fully adopted. So the improvements can be broken down into three categories, each affecting the other, and each necessary to the final construct. Taproot successfully increases security and also allows flexibility and scalability with the introduction of a new language that is ever expanding. The three categories of changes to summarize are as follows. The first one is Schnorr Signatures BIP340. This new form of signature allows for superior security, lower fees, and flexible multi-signature or multi-sig transactions. How does it do this? Signature hash is applied to the transactions, meaning that once a SIG hash is applied, the information becomes immutable or unchangeable. Key and signature ag aggregation allows for the aggregation of public keys and signatures. This means if you have a transaction with 10 people, previously you would need 10 public keys, 10 signatures, and a verifier would have to verify each key and signature. With key and signature aggregation, we can make all 10 public keys into one key and all 10 signatures into one signature. The verify now only has to do this once instead of 10 times. This is where a lot of computational processing occurs, so increasing the speed. Superior security is achieved in the aggregation process because on-chain uh, data tract will not be able to discern the difference between a multi-signature and single-signature transaction, allowing for more privacy. Batch verification is added on from the aggregation mentioned above as now we can batch together multiple transactions to verify them together as opposed to one at a time. Basically, this is just bulk verification and also leads to fewer resources being spent. The entire update is named after this portion of the update because this is how the new system integrates with the old one. 3. TapScript is a collection of opcodes, which are essentially just lines of codes that execute commands on the Bitcoin protocol that have been updated to make way for the new changes installed by Taproot. It can be referred to as a language, but is more like an update to Bitcoin script. Bitcoin script has a 10,000 byte script size limit, which will be removed, allowing for vastly larger scripts or Taproot contracts. It also removes the cap for opcodes, which allows for more flexibility for increased features and coding in the future. This removal of script size and unfettered growth available in scripting allows a clear path to smart contracts for Bitcoin. Why is this important? Security is the lifeblood of every Bitcoiner. Unwilling to shake their core beliefs of hard sound money, the Bitcoin community paced themselves to make sure the Layer 1 Bitcoin protocol was immutable, efficient, and proven to be 100% secure before upgrading. Other 
platforms rushed to layer 2 open applications built on the original protocol, while Bitcoin held off on further developments until base layer security was undeniable certainty. Because of this, some argue that Bitcoin had lost the race to developing smart contract capability, and products like Ethereum emerged as first to the market, changing the way we look at decentralized applications or dApps. Taproot has even the playing field. Bitcoin now has a clear path to deployment of smart contracts, decentralized autonomous organizations, and more. Products like the Lightning Network have already shown that fast and reliable transactions can still be backed with an immutable ledger, even without the access that Taproot will give developers of the future. Bitcoin is stepping into a broader world with applications that we cannot imagine in a way that it simply could not before. This newfound developer freedom and systemic efficiency for the miners will drive more great minds to the protocol, fostering new ideas which will help the network continue to flourish. And this article over at Coindesk.com goes on to say that Bitcoin is expected to rise on Taproot upgrades. Some analysts expect a price rise as the Bitcoin network receives the most significant upgrade since 2017. But we also have an article over here um, that says the short-term price impact is limited. So we're going to take a look at both of these and see what we can figure out here. Analysts expect trading activity to advance next week following the Bitcoin Taproot upgrade, which aims to improve privacy and efficiency on the blockchain network. Bulls may have some power left to push the market higher as a result of the Taproot upgrade. The upgrade is expected to be implemented in the next few days. Although other analysts expect minimal impact on Bitcoin's price, it's possible some investors have entered long positions ahead of the Taproot upgrade, given Bitcoin's near 30% gain over the past few months. With Taproot expanding Bitcoin's smart contract and scripting capabilities, enhancing wallet functionality, reducing fees, and improving privacy measures, this is very, very significant to Bitcoin and Bitcoin investors. And this article over on Cointelegraph does go on to mention that the short-term price impact may be limited. The impact of this upgrade may already be priced into the asset's current price. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update. I've seen this in the news. I had to mention this, guys, as this is pretty significant news. Um, whether or not it really affects the price of Bitcoin here, guys, is really left undetermined. Um, you can see, like I said, even after this dip, guys, we are catching this resistance. So um, once we can break up above $65,000 for Bitcoin, I do believe that we will continue our rise to the upside. Otherwise, like I said earlier in the video, we could potentially see a pullback. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to give this video a like on the way out. It really helps out a lot. Hit the subscribe button. Join the community here. Check the links in the description. And um, I will see you guys in the next video.